All right, it's just after five. Here we are in Boyne. Sorry, when I came here three years ago, it was called Boyne Highlands. Well, now it's called the Highlands at Harbor Springs. So here we are, just after five. We do about four hours from our place in Southwest of Michigan. And yeah, you see that? That's a brand new lift, but we're not going on that this time. To start, we're going on the Heather Express, which has been here since 1990. It, it has, it has, oh boy. Uh, just trying to get here without my, oh good, shortcut. So this chairlift has 71 chairs and 11 poles. Let's go. Okay. Oh! <laughs> got a lot of video too. Ah, did you? I'm not, no worry. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to record the lift. Facebook Live. Facebook Live. No, YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> Come on, you'll be a star. Hey, are you three riding up together? Yeah. Look. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, this is my 15th video. Oh Christ! Uh, I just... We go in or not? Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. Chair 11, here we go. Okay, they, they, even I can tell, they replaced the uh, number tag. Hopefully my portable charger doesn't fall off my phone because if it did, it'd be terrible. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I've suffered much worse fates. Put those down? Yeah, I used, I hailed from the Northeast where they where they might actually <laughs> kick you off the list if you don't do that. But hey, if you want it up, let's have it up. We only live once. Right. Yeah, let's do it. it yeah. No fear. Yes. No fear. Woo! <laughs> as long as you're not rocking, you'll be all right. <laughs> well, I'll be rocking on the slope. Don't you worry. <laughs> and believe me, you're not the only one to fall on the line. Um, I yeah, I was in I was in um, Beaver Creek about a year ago, and I almost got buried alive. Yeah, so what happened was I was in, I was in like a um, double black diamond, which is like nothing if you're in the Northeast or nothing if you're here. But if you're in Colorado, that's some weird shit, man. So here's what happened. Um, yeah, I went into the Royal Elk Glaze of Beaver Creek and um, uh, how do I even put this? Fell, I fell down. I, the snow is really deep. I used my pole to try and prop myself up, but that sinks too. Try to get up and then I slide down causing kind of like a, I don't want to say an avalanche, but a really, really unsettling, I don't know, tumbling down of the snow, of the powder. Yeah, I know, right? And basically, okay, is this on? No, it's not, it's even got out of the way. All right. <laughs> What's the YouTube video for? Oh, uh, it's just, um, well, basically, it's for my blog. I, I like posting about ski lifts and, Oh, wow, that's things I'm interested in, like, I don't know, ways I go in my own car, um, music-related stuff. Anyway, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was up here three years ago. They didn't even have the, um, uh, two lifts at the far side of the mountain open. But now they do! Okay, Covered in snow, I had to tell people I was not the abominable snowman. And then I I get up and then I go like flying like feet first into a snowbank. Tearfully ca um, call my own mom because I don't know where the hell I am. I don't even know if I'm at the at the end of the glaze yet. So yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I would call ski patrol, but then they had to ask you where are you, and I'm like I would be like what what kind of a lead would it be if I said I don't know where the hell I am? Check my phone. Yeah, I didn't think so. So, did you get them gloves at? Ah, uh, well, it was just a Christmas gift from 2021. Oh yeah, these rechargeable gloves. Unfortunately, I left. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I actually moved away from Albany in like uh, 2019. I'm living in Madison, Wisconsin now, and yeah, I left the charger up there. So I'm just glad we haven't had like a I don't know serious wind chills. That oh my god, that only goes up as high as McGully used to. Wait, is this your first time here? 
Huh? First time here? No. Oh, no. oh good, because you probably remember the Valley Quad, the Camelot Triple, and the Big Gully Triple. Huh? Yeah, those lists are gone. I never yeah, got I to ride. Never got to ride on the Valley because again, COVID nineteen. It was December twenty two to twenty eight. The Valley lift was really slow. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Interestingly enough, this this lift is eight years older than me. Which way are we going? We're going down the little I'm going left. Going right. All right. We'll let you take off first. Okay. Yeah, this is a great debut episode. Well, for my Michigan, I'm not the only one who does this, but I might just be the first person who records it. Oh. <laughs> Twenty out of ten. <laughs> oh god, I'll have to remember that. You'll be a star. All right, I don't want to brag here, but I might just be the first YouTuber to record this new lift here at the Highlands at Harbor Springs. This is the Camelot 6. It's a six person bubble express lift. Yeah, you get, there's a plastic cover there. You can put it down to keep snow from hitting you in the face. Or just keep warm in general. Just keep warm in general. So, I've never been on this lift. It actually replaced like three lifts here. This actually used to be where the Camelot triple used to be. Over there is where the McGully triple used to be. And the Valley Quad used to be behind those trees. So yeah. I don't know how many poles or how many chairs are on this lift, but I'm gonna find out really, really soon. All right. Oh, it goes down to the right, comes up on the left. Who saw that coming? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're going for a minute here. And I'm still not in the chair. Don't get mad at me. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Thank you. 33, 34. Huh. Okay, we got a good idea. I can get, oh, it's one of those conveyor belt lifts too. That's nice. That's real nice. Oh, it's got a Jumbotron too. I see one of these at Boyne Mountain, except the chair has eight seats. Looks like we're gonna be on chair 36 if we're lucky. 36 of how many? I don't know. But, here I go. That's 36. I don't even know. Oh crap, 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 crap. I gotta get my clothes on. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, forget it. We're here. We're good. We be good. 39. Okay, here I go. Um, yeah, so here we are. That's chair 40, apparently. Should I put down the bubble? Will it obstruct my view? I don't know, but we are going up. Uh, 41. Oh yeah, by the way, the Disciples 8 chair lift at Boyd Mountain, which is an, you know it didn't have a bubble like this, but it had 40 chairs and eight poles. But here you are. Oh, there's 43 chairs, good. Put this baby down, see what happens. Oh, come on, get down. Ah, oh, crap, oh, I can't pull it down. Oh no, oh well, it's okay. We don't, need, we don't need the bubble covering every time, but it's just really convenient to have. So yeah, 43 chairs, uh, and God knows how many poles. Number four. Yeah, the valley used to go that. What valley chair lift used to be over there. So yeah, pole four. Oh, this is not gonna have many poles at all. I just know it. Oh, they're making snow. What a sea change the system smoke is not. <laughs> it looks like all the. <laughs> I checked the snow report. It looks like all six lifts are going to be open tomorrow. Mm, but because it's night skiing right now, sun's going down. They're not going to have. They're going to have three chairlifts that are closed. But man, I am super pumped. 
supposed to be on Amy's again, and then the Interconnect and the North Face. The two lifts that I have never been on. Yeah, I went here three years ago. Um, and this lift was not in place. It was, I think it just first opened this season. This, this lift right here. And, um, uh, yeah, so. Uh, yeah. Still making snow. I think it's pull seven, I think. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, we're in chair 36. Or 036. I don't know why they have why they why the chair numbers have zeros in front of them. Look at that. Now you probably can't still go coming too fast. I don't know, but hmm, okay, looks like we're gonna have nine poles. So yeah, there you have it. Nine poles and 43 chairs. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Camelot triple that this replaced. It's 11 poles and 60 chairs. And the McGully, um, it pulls A, B, and C, and then 1 to 22. That's really 25, but whatever. And 126 chairs, the Valley Ch Quad. Well, Laura Samaras has filled that. I've never been on it. Come on, can't I go? Oh, this row, right? This is the, uh, this is the arm, this is the bar that locks itself into place. It's an automatic. Well, how about that? Yeah, zero. So yeah, how about that? <laughs> Pretty impressive. Come on. Oh, we go. Come on. Yo. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. <laughs> now here's an interesting lift. This one's the Challenger. <laughs> it was built in 1969, meaning it's 29 years older than me. 17 poles and 70 chairs. I know which one I'm going to be on this time. Okay, what number? Oh, it's in here. Did you get it? I don't know. I'm trying to see my gloves are. Oh, crap. So I got to put my gloves back on before I. Oh, I hope I'm not holding anyone up. <laughs> okay, I totally am. Here we are in chair 50, apparently. Yes. Fifty! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Hey, there's no safety bar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so as I said, seventy chairs, seventeen poles. Oh, thank God I didn't get them. Well, anyway, yeah. I remember last time I was here three years ago. <laughs> Chair six was like my lucky chair number because I went on it like a lot. 68, 61. So yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Chair lift is 29 years older than me. <laughs> Which I guess is evidenced by the fact that the chairs look incomplete. I mean, look at this. Look at these chairs. Look at them. <laughs> you try getting on one of these and telling me that they look in style today. They are not. Yeah. <laughs> That's chair 70 if you're wondering. And here comes chair one. Yeah, there we go. Pole five. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how close together the poles are here. Oh yeah, by the way, um, you see that, that those slopes back there? That's Nub's Knob. That's the... Uh, that's a, Coast by Ski Resort called Nub's Knob. I don't know. Well, I know that I'm going to be not going to be skiing there this season. I don't know if I'll be skiing there in the future. I hope I do, but well, until then, I'm going to enjoy this. I guess it's finally nighttime. How about that? It's too bad that, <laughs> that ski resorts in in Vermont and, and Quebec don't have nice skiing like this. That's one of the major upside to going to ski resorts like this. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, see that out in the distance? That's not lit up because that's not open during the nighttime. But it has, but out there in that direction, there are 
three other lifts that I'm going to be going to tomorrow. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I might be leaving these the day after. I don't know. The, the day after I'm uh, recording this, so it might be on that day that I'm going there. So, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I'll just try and get these videos out as quickly as I can. So yeah, here's pole 11. And you thought that <laughs> you thought the poles were really close together already? Look at this! Look at this wasted metal coming up. <laughs> there's like <laughs> there's gonna be like tw five poles, like in very quick succession. Look at this. You're getting around here, fifty or seventy. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if I should record these again when it's daytime. I think given the glare now, that's going to be a resounding yes. Yeah, look at that, guys. <laughs> look at how freaking close together these poles are. <laughs> you, really need, you really need that much support? Uh, okay. I'm not gonna argue with that, I guess. Getting this little nice design. So yeah, there's our, what the heck? Our chair is just about to go around the corner. Wait for, watch for it. Yeah, so again, letting us off early. There's our chair, just went around the corner. So yeah. Amy, what you want to do? I think I will ride on you for a while. Don't mind it if I do. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> this next trailer is Amy's. The Amy's slide. Another driblet. And it was built in 1980. It has 94 chairs on it. I'm gonna get my glove on, so I don't freeze today. Oh, here we go. What chair am I gonna be on this time? Sorry. 47. Sorry, dude. <laughs> it's just 47 is my favorite number, baby. Woo! Take that. <laughs> oh, let's pull 1A. Okay, so this, so this, so this, uh, uh, chair lift has, yeah. Okay, it looks like it's 23 poles. It has one, one A, then two to 22. And yeah, 94 chairs, as I said. We're on my favorite number. We just have a 94. I'm super happy. Now, <laughs> I don't know which Amy this was. This can't be Senator Amy Klobuchar because she's from Minnesota. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who this, this was named after, but. Anyway, I hope the uh, scanner was able to find my pass. I was just so easy to get on this number because I love it. <sighs> Hate to be following it. Anyway, yeah, so. <sighs> Look at all that powder, man. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Well, it has been great skiing on it um, so far today. And yeah. So, you know, <laughs> interestingly enough, when I was here three years ago, I went on this lift six times and I hit every digit exactly once except for eight, which I hit twice. 86, 53, um, let's see here. Yeah, it was 86, 53, 19, 78, um, 40, and then two. Yes, every digit. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I just got a text from mom. We're going home. <laughs> We're going home at 2 p.m. today, which means I better hurry that the heck up. But hey, I will definitely be hitting all six lifts today. That's a fact. I am so pumped. 
It'd be good to leave for two because there's a huge winter storm coming to Grand Rapids. The Grand Rapids area. Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, South Haven, that, that general area. There's a huge... Oh yeah, here we are. It's turn 94. Yeah, there's a huge snowstorm coming to that area. Oh, there's 95 now. Okay. <laughs> I swear, I swear to God, this chair... I could have sworn. This lift had an... I, I kid you not, it had 94 when I was here three years ago. But now they have a 95th chair. But anyway, look at all the snow here. Kind of weird because <laughs> the smoke is not, there was just not enough snow. And now it looks like there's a little bit too much snow. Uh, I hate to sound like Goldilocks here, but Tremblant was what I called just right. But you know what? Any snow is good snow, so who am I to complain? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was a little disappointed that we had to leave at 2 p.m., but. Well, I'm dead rightly point out that I'll be able to hit all the lifts and possibly all the trails too. I might miss a couple trails, but anyway, I have it done way too much. Yeah, it's cold enough that if you take your hand out of your glove for too long, you can just set up the camera. It could be dangerous. And once again, it looks as though we are going to be let off the chair early <coughs> before the lift gets to its true end. Yeah, that's, I guess, a feature, not a bug, of chairless manufactured by Riblet. This is just 18 years older than me. Well, hey, got, at least I got the number of poles right. <laughs> Even if I didn't get the number of chairs right. Anyway, okay. Yeah, it's a fun ride. I'll wait for this year to go around the corner. Uh, come on. Uh. What were the odds? What were the odds that I'd ride in 47? All right, it's rounding the corner right now. There it is. All right, two more lifts to go. Let's do this. All right. I think this might be the resort's only remaining triple lift, the interconnect. According to lift blog, pictures I've seen there and on Google Maps, this lift has 31 poles and 157 chairs. So let's go. Okay, still blow my face. Let's get going. 27. No, we're really up. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> I thought the I thought the lift was closed. No, I gotta go enter it on the side. <laughs> I'm so silly. I gotta get over there. <laughs> uh, in the left arm. Jordan is in the left arm. No, a little higher. Oh, a little higher. Oh, you got it. Okay, that's good. That's real good. Looks like we're gonna be on chair 32, which cool. Okay. You're from Brazil. Okay. Ah, no safety bar. Classic. All right. Whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I see. Almost got stuck in the snow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it was pretty good. I almost had that happen to me at Labrador Mountain in New York. They stopped the lift just in time as my ski got like stuck in the ground as I was unloading. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to have that happen again. Okay, luckily there is no damage to the ski. 
Oh, <laughs> I can already tell. This promises to be a long lift. Oh yeah, there used to be like... Oh yeah, by the way, um... Uh, I said in a previous video that the valley, um... This was a quad, but no, it's actually a triple. Thanks, Laura Samaras, for correcting me. Yeah, so basically there used to be like... What? One, two, three... Four! Four triple lifts here at the resort, but <laughs> ever since the Camelot 6 was installed, this is the only remaining one. So, <laughs> enjoy this lift built in 1992 while you still can because, oh God knows it's gonna be replaced one day or not. I don't know. <laughs> I have no crystal ball. <sighs> wow, we're only on pull four. Wow. Man, <laughs> wheels are squeaker than usual, <laughs> but not that much. Wait, this lift goes down? <laughs> um, what? <laughs> oh boy, I am not ready for this dip. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, that actually might explain. That actually might explain the high number of, oh, I don't know, pulls on this lift. Sudden dip and then rise. Oh, honestly, it wouldn't be the first time I've seen one of the one of these. So yeah, this lift goes to the far side of the highlands, and there's only one other lift on on that side. It's called the North Face, which I'll be getting to next. I kind of don't want to say it's a slap in the face, but if you have, if, if this is, if you have like a whole far side of a resort or mountain, you think you want to do more development there than just, I guess, only one lift to get there and one lift once you're over there. But that's just me. We're not even halfway through the lift. Uh, normally about this time I'd be wrapping up a video, but well, that's clearly not going to be the case here. Uh, wow. wow, this is a long one. <laughs> this is a really long one. Uh, well, for Michigan that is. Make some sick beats. Squeaking of the wheels makes some sick beats. <laughs> you gotta give me that one at least. Yeah, these are pulled are really close together. I think it's at this point now that we're halfway through. It's just the number of chairs. <laughs> oh, man. 
somehow I feel like this this ride is not is like never gonna end. <laughs> but then again, I kind of don't want it to because I just love the slope so much. <clears throat> it's a long way this come, isn't it? Sorry, this is my back. I'm twisting that direction. Kinda hurts a little bit. Nothing serious though. You <laughs> hear that from all the way over here? Yes, these <laughs> the wheels on these tools can really use some oiling. A lot of oiling. One hundred thirty-one. One hundred thirty-two. And we're only on chair thirty-two. Oh god. <laughs> oh man, this chair of this ride is really never gonna end, is it? <laughs> Yeah, it reminds me of when I was first went on the Madonna 2 at Smuggler's Notch, and I was on chair 23, and little did I know there were 190 chairs. It was, at the time, about Christmas of 2007, the longest that I had been on, but not even near as long as some of us have been on since then. Actually, I think I... I see the end. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the, when I get to the top, if I choose the wrong trail, I'm gonna be right back where I started. <laughs> like, at the bottom of this lift and forced to spend, like, a really long time. <sighs> There's so little time and so much to do. Alright, here we go. 154. Yeah, we're <coughs> almost to the last chair, it looks like. 155. 156. Ah, uh, booyah! I was right! <laughs> 157 chairs. Like, this is my first time on the lift, in all honesty. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, it's just more evidence that lift blog usually doesn't lie. Okay. Wow, pull 20. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised because I've seen this with 27 poles at least like a lot but given that this is Michigan and the mountains aren't very high this is a shocker oh, another lot here <laughs> okay hmm might as well check it out I'm gonna get off Oh yeah, we're yeah, we're almost done. Looks like we're almost done here. Yeah, we're we're almost done. There it is. In the distance. Behind the lift. That is the north face. The one and only chair lift, still standing, that I have not been on here at I keep wanting to say Boynton Highlands, but it's the Highlands at Harbor Springs. <laughs> it is worth pointing out, though, that at Heather Highlands, the, the lodge that we're staying, it's still li labeled Boyne Highlands, so that's a bit of a misnomer, if you ask me. Whoa, what's that squeak? Oh, it must be over there. I can hear the squeaks of the poles from over there. Man, <laughs> that'll be something else.
Oh wait. Oh, well at least he didn't get that up early. That's a plus. Hey, um, remember when I said in the last video that um <laughs> that I could hear this particular lift? many poles or terraces this lift has so I am so sorry but I'll be counting them so that's something I what oh, what is... Dude, I could use a real serious oiling one I'm on two chair two cool damn I could have been on number one and it looks like oh pole three that was in pole two and pole one back there <laughs> well, okay, this has got a lot easier. What's the number in front of them? Oh, I did not expect this. Come on, ooh, your body, dude. I can't see the damn number. It looks like 86. I know you can't see from here, but again, we'll check it on. We'll check it out soon enough. I know it's on chair two because that's chair one in front of me. <laughs> I missed my big chance. <laughs> oh, 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 well. Yeah, so this is the North Face Quad. I don't know when it was built. Mainly because I haven't checked it out on lift blog. I haven't, got, I haven't seen any good pictures of it on lift blog. I can hear this. Imagine having that be the last sound you hear before you go to bed. So yeah, this is at the far end of the mount of of the Highlands. Yes, it, <laughs> I don't know what it called. I want to call it a mountain, but it's really a ski hill. Oh, that's dreadful. <laughs> Good Lord, that is dreadful sounding. <laughs> oh man, oh boy. Oh, good respite. They run this lift. <laughs> but hey, it could be worse. It could be a tyro basin where basically <laughs> the metal on the wheels on almost all the lifts, on pretty much all the lifts, sound like them sound like they're in really bad need of oil. Like, like the squeaks sound more dreadful at Tyrell Basin. I can see what I can see why they have the terror at Tyrell Halloween event every year over there in Madison, Wisconsin at Tyrell Basin. Just park your tent under under pole five on lift day. That one legit sounds like the metal's corroding. Or lift six or, or pole six on 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 lift day. It sounds like a Mario Kart vehicle spinning out of control. <laughs> so yeah. That's enough to keep you up all night. Well, oh, we'll be getting a tile basin soon, I'm sure. But I'm pretty sure this is just a... I'm telling you, this is just an appetizer from what you have to... Oh, God! Really squeaky. You can hear it through the metal, too. <laughs> I almost want to dance to this. You tell me you don't want to dance to this. Just when I think it can't get any more dreadful. <laughs> I used to be entertained by that when I was young, but as you get older, you just wonder why the hell they don't oil this. Oil these poles. Like, at all. Oh, here's that pole I heard. Pole 20. This is the one I heard from the, from the top of the interconnect over there.
Not gonna lie, these pools sound horrid. That might have been 21. I don't freaking know anymore. No, it was 22. You're the one with the most dreadful squeal of all. Wow, okay, 81, that's chair 81, 82, 83, there's 82, there's 83, 84. There are 86 chairs on this lift and 23 poles. Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Almost all those poles were dreadfully squeaky. My <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Well, there goes the chair around the corner. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Thanks for watching, everybody.